Hi everybody, my name is Adam. My opinions are as inflammatory as hemorrhoids, so you better stock up on that preparation aid so I can lube up my finger with it. Just go up and down your ass cheek. Jab my finger up your ass to get the woo woo. Not to be gay, just to be an asshole. Quick shout out to Yellow Flash for the suggestion for this video. He wants, you know, he goes, hey, you should explain what an SJW is. So, that's what I'm going to do for you boys and girls out there in internet land, everybody fucking watching this video. Okay, there are many different types of SJWs. And that's a social an SJW, SJW is an abbreviation for Social Justice Warrior, which is a stem off of third string radical feminists where they believe everything sexist, racist, or homophobic, transphobic, ECT, you know, like they want fat acceptance, they want all this batch of craziness. And then they. always try to push their political agenda on you and if you don't agree with them you're automatically an outright neo-nazi like yeah yeah like you could you could you know get the yeah like little fucking swastika thing and walk around through the streets and go zig hey antifa they're a violent sjw group they want to promote violence in the streets they want to you know, like, attack people that, with physical, harm people that don't agree with them politically. Like a bunch of spoiled little fucking brats. Yeah, you know, like, and most of them that stem off into the, <clears throat> they're basically like neoliberals, which are like all socialist, commie, pinko fucking scum. And they, and you know, like, all of them are against fascism. What's the most fascist people there is on earth? Because, yeah, they believe in, you know, like, it's kind of like they're the embodiment of George Orwell's 1984. Great book. Really good movie, too. Where, you know, like, they accuse people of wrong think, wrong speak. If you don't agree with them, you're a Nazi or a pedophile. And they're running, and you know, like a whole bunch of them are staffed at Marvel Comics. That's why the decline of quality is like just dropped off because they always scare away, and the sales are just like garbage indie comic sales numbers that you know, like back in the like nineteen. 80s, 1970s, 1980s, 1990s, uh, early, mid, till, uh, up until the reboot of Marvel Comics, you know, like the first reboot, all new, all different, then there's all new, all different 2.0, then there was, a uh, Marvel Now, and now we're in Marvel Legacy. I'm talking about like yeah, before all new, all different Marvel. Those books would be fucking cancelled. Where you know, like the whole thing is a race obsessed ideologue basically took over Marvel comics. And instead of, you know, like introducing new characters, they just distaffed, swapped out all the old characters. Yeah, you know, like they made them you know, like Gay, uh, homosexual, uh, you know, like a different race, or you know, like, or you know, like if it's a ma male character, they made them female, and ooh, oh god, oh, ooh. and the way the women drawn, you know, like they have the ultra square jaw jawline and shit like that, uh. No boobs, you know, like, 
shit. And, like, there's a fucking like, a running joke between me and the rest of the uh <sighs> more uh, right wing leaning uh, people, you know, like uh, comic book readers, you know, like we just ripped to shreds, you know, like there's a running joke about Miss Marvel, Carol Danvers, he's Carl Danvers now, you know, like, and you know, like they keep on defeminizing women and trying to make them as good as many, you know, like there's no classic damsel of distress or nothing like that. And and they like pushed, you know, like the pseudo lesbian relationships where you know like they killed out heterosexual romance in Marvel comics. Because they're be and all of them are super racist. They hate white people. And sexist. They hate they hate men. Yeah. They also hate. No, then. And they're super homophobic, too. Where, and transphobic, where they just like. Well, so, you know, like. Yeah, gays, they have rights, so does the whole LGBT. You know, like, I'm not using any fucking. other. You know, letters or anything. No, LGBT. That's what they. That's what that organization is to me. I'm old school. Well, they. Automatically guard and protect them. They go, oh, you poor little thingies. We're going to represent you falsely because all of you are minorities. In the. In the United States, you guys are more so marginalized, and it pisses a lot of people off. You know, like shit. You know, like there's not really any talent at Marvel. That's why I buy DC. That's why I'm a DC fan. You know, like DC. Oh God, DC. Oof. I don't care what one. Only person that you know, like I disagree with politically is Neil Adams on Twitter, which is fine. You know, like hey, and I'm nice to him. I'm not sure about it. Hey, you know, like I told him, hey, I'll still buy your books, but I disagree with you politically. It's not like oh, if you don't just agree with my politics, don't buy my book. It's like this. I I don't agree with you, but I'll buy your books. And you know, like he's perfectly fine with it. I handle it in a mature way, and he's 75 years old. I'd be a complete cunt to an old guy like that. A comic book legend too. And I met the man. Very nice guy. <clears throat> See, well, and I hope this help. And, well, SJWs also ruined Star Wars. With The Last Jedi. Or, fuck. Yeah, there's a lot of markers and sh red flags up and shit like that. Like... They should sound an alarm. Because it was very, very more. And another thing that SJWs buy into is this thing called moral relativism, where there's no true right or wrong. Where, you know, like, all the heroes, which are supposed to be heroes, are morally ambiguous. They kind of take the Batman route with it, which. No. Or Wolverine route, or Deadpool route, with every fucking hero there is. Shit, they turned Captain America into a Nazi. The X-Men are in this war in the negative zone, basically. They're fighting fucking Nazis. There's no subtle. They're not very subtle. In the... In the... And it's just like, kind of like this, you know, like, weird, you know, like, old life. Stranger or weirdo politics in Marvel Comics with a decline in art and storytelling. And I hope this clears it up for what an SJW is to everybody out there that's watching this video. Well, 
I will see you around until next time. This was a video that I was requested to do, and I hope the person, you know, Yellow Flash, check out his channel too. This is another shout out. Really nice guy. You know, he gives me suggestions and stuff, and he just told me, hey, just explained what SJW is to broaden you know, my audience. And. I am. Well, I'll be... Well, and in the comments, you know, like, I have a bunch of comic books on that wall right there. And also, uh, shit, I got the new issue of Damage, the first issue of Damage. Uh, I have, like, a lot of shit, you know, like, and I want to do a review until, um, just comment to see me what you want me to review and until next time guys I will see you around take care be careful be safe I don't want anything happening bad happening to anyone out there and and later until next time I'll see you around peace